Hi YouTube, it's me again. Uh, not another video on a problem that my students have brought to me. Uh, this is a video on uh, solving a word problem uh, that involves standard form as well as general form. Okay, so this is a video on how to solve the problem. Now, this is the problem. The Population Reference Bureau reported that the world population was 7.06 times 10 to the power of 9. The, the population in Asia was 4.26 times 10 to the power of 9. And that in Europe uh, was 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8 in the mid-2012. Question A, how many more people were there in Asia than in Europe? Give your answers in standard form. Correct to three significant figures. Question B, express the population in Europe as a percentage of the world population. Okay, so uh, very quickly, let's go for question A. Now, the number of people, we are looking at how many more people were there in Asia than Europe. In Asia, there was 4.26 times 10 to the power of 9. This is in Asia. Okay, in Europe, there was 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8. Uh, uh, this is the number of people in Europe. Now, uh, we could simply uh, minus them, okay, you should, sorry, not minus them, but take away the population from, uh, of Asia, from, of Europe from Asia, rather, okay, so, uh, but then there are a few things that we need to take, on, take note of. The first thing is, uh, we look at um, the base of 10, okay, we notice that in Asia is 4.26 times 10 to the power of minus, sorry, times 10 to the power of 9, Whereas in Europe is 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8. Now, we can't simply take away one from the other because uh, there's a different base here. Now, different base here, that means uh, the, the number will be different by a factor of 10. Because 10 to the power of 9 minus uh, uh, divided by 10 to the power of 8, there's a difference of a factor of 10. So, you just can't uh, minus uh, the, the population of Europe from the population of Asia. Now, there's a neat little trick. Uh, one way that students will do is uh, they will take the for population for Asia, there was 4.426, okay, this is two zeros already, then they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then in Europe, uh, 7, 4, 0, uh, that's two zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. Um, they'll do this and then uh, they just deduct the, the 740 million from 442 million, Okay, um, sorry, not 42 billion, 42 billion, no, no, kind of, kind of, 42 billion. Okay, so, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so, um, this is, this is the one possible way you can do this this way. Uh, but there's a little trick that I'd like to, uh, to use today, um, uh, that wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, require you to, uh, convert between standard form and the general form. So, this is what we do. We know the population in Asia is 4.26 to 10, uh, times 10 to the power of, uh, 9. Okay. Uh, what we can do is, uh, what we can actually do is to make, uh, it the same 10 base. So 4.26 times 10 to the power of 9, okay, is the same as 42.6 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay. In this case, now we see that the 10 to the power of 8 is here, uh, is the same as, uh, that in Europe. So what you can do is actually 42.6 times 10 to the power of 8 minus 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, so in this case over here, since we have the same 10 base, uh, what we can do is uh, we take 42.6 uh, and then you minus 7.40. Okay, so um, what do you get with that, uh, which is basically uh, 335.2 times 10 to the power of it. Now, this is your, your answer, but this is not the final answer because this is not in the standard form. Uh, we know that in the standard form, uh, your number over here must be between 1 and 9. Okay, so uh, to do that, we just convert it this way times 10 to the power of 9. Okay, this way. Alright, so uh, this is for question uh, 14a. Uh, it, it, it will be okay if you did the opposite for... Um, uh, the population, that means to say if you use uh, the population in Europe, okay, if you if you used it seven instead of 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8, you made it 0 0.74 times 10 to the power of 9, okay, and you deduct 0 0.74 from 4.26, uh, you will get the answer. Okay, so don't forget your statement. Uh, 
there were 3.52 times 10 to the power of 9 uh, more people in Asia. Okay, so that is how we do question A. Moving very quickly to 14B, express the population in Europe as a percentage of the world population. Okay, uh, in, um, in Europe, what uh, is the population in Europe uh, was 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, and in the world, okay, what was the world population is was 7.06 times 10 to the power of 9. So, it's a very simple question. Uh, you what's the population 7 point, what's the percentage 7.40 times 10 to the power of 8. Uh, over 7.06 times 10 to the power of 9 uh, times 100%. Okay, first thing I will do is I will um, uh, look at what we can, what are the common factors. Okay, over here we have 10 to the power of 8, below we have 10 to the power of 9. Um, I, would, I would use that straight away. Okay, and then um, you would get this. Okay, if let's say um, 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of 9, you get uh, 1 over 10. Okay, this is what we get here. Okay, times 100%. Okay, which is 7.40 divided by 70.6. I just simplified the base times 100%. Okay, uh, you will get 10.48%. Okay, but um, you have been asked to express this in uh, three significant figures. Okay, so it's 10.5%. Okay, and this is how you do it. The question, simple, straightforward. Uh, but you will need to know the law of um, what, sorry, sorry, not the law, but what are the requirements of standard form and general form and how to convert between these two. Now, this video will not touch on those. If you have problems with those, uh, please uh, revise before you look watch, watch this video. Um, once again, I'm doing this for my students. Uh, if you have feedback on how to make these videos better for my students and for people, uh, for students in Singapore in general, uh, please let me know. Comments. Uh, are very very much sought after in this case. Thank you very much YouTube. I'll see you next time.